Naughty Dog is staying focused on bringing current and future games to PC. Uncharted 4, A Thief's End Several years after his last adventure, retired fortune hunter Nathan Drake is forced back into the world of thieves. Fate comes calling when Sam, Drake's presumed dead brother, resurfaces seeking his help to save his own life and offering an adventure Drake can't resist. Winner of over 150 Game of the Year awards. A globe-trotting adventure with the largest and most detailed environments in the Uncharted franchise. Fluid combat and traversal with the use of the grapple hook creates even more dynamic and thrilling action set pieces. Uncharted, The Lost Legacy In order to recover an ancient artifact and keep it out of the hands of a ruthless warmonger, Chloe Fraser must enlist the aid of renowned mercenary Nadine Ross and venture to India's Western Ghats to locate the golden tusk of Ganesh. In Chloe's greatest journey yet, she must confront her past and decide what she's willing to sacrifice to forge her own legacy. Featuring an exotic mix of urban, jungle and ancient ruins environments on the southwestern coast of the Indian Peninsula. Builds on the acclaimed Uncharted franchise gameplay with updated systems and refinements including cinematic combat, exploration, traversal, complex puzzles, and more. Following Uncharted's PC launch, the developer says it's able to look ahead to the future of Naughty Dog games on PC more excitedly than ever. Naughty Dog made its PC debut last week when Uncharted Legacy of Thieves Collection launched for the platform, but of course, there's more in the pipeline on that front. The Last of Us Part 1 is in the works for PC, and the developer intends to keep on bringing more of its titles to the platform in the future. Sony has found some success porting its older exclusives to PC in recent years, but its latest one seemingly has not sold as well as previous games. According to SteamDB data, Uncharted, Legacy of Thieves Collection notched a peak player count of 10,851 which wasn't enough to break into Steam's top 100 games. As VGC notes, Horizon Zero Dawn attracted 56,000 players at launch, and God of War had an even higher number, 73,000. Even the humble days gone boasted more than double Uncharted's numbers with 27,000. Considering that days gone famously did not sell enough to justify a sequel, this would seem to be a major surprise. In a PlayStation blog post discussing the aforementioned PC port's launch, the developer said that working on it with Iron Galaxy Studios has enabled it to look ahead to the future of Naughty Dog games on PC more excitedly than ever. Iron Galaxy offered a partner we could trust would deliver a high-quality version of these two Uncharted games, and with whom we could work closely to better understand PC development while internally staying focused on current and future projects and bringing them to PC as well the developer said. The developer went on to reiterate the point, while adding that PC development will not affect the studio's focus on developing PlayStation games. Learning all of this through our partnership with Iron Galaxy Studios only helps to bolster Naughty Dog's understanding of PC development and allow us to deliver the quality you expect in our future releases, Naughty Dog wrote. We're excited to be offering The Last of Us Part 1 on PC in the future, and know that, Moving forward, adding PC development to the way we develop games, which in no way undermines the importance of PlayStation 5 as our primary platform, will continue to benefit our team in the long run. Of course, this doesn't necessarily come as much of a surprise, given the stance that Sony has taken on PC releases over the last couple of years. The company has made it abundantly clear that it plans on greatly accelerating its plans for PC titles in the coming years to the extent that future live service titles, which presumably includes Naughty Dog's standalone multiplayer, The Last of Us game, will launch simultaneously for PlayStation and PC. System Requirements Though Sony has been launching many of its exclusive titles on the PC, most games have had a rough release. Players have been having a hard time adjusting their PCs to the requirements of these games. Thankfully, Uncharted Legacy of Thieves Collection does not require any major overhauls to be made to PCs and can even run smoothly on mid-tier PCs. The minimum requirements to run the game on a PC include an Intel i5-4330 or AMD Ryzen 31200 processor, 
8GB RAM and a NVIDIA GTX 960, 4GB, or AMD R9 290X, 4GB, graphic card. The available storage space should be 126GB. The recommended settings however, include an Intel i7-4770 or AMD Ryzen 5 1500X processor, with 16GB RAM and either a NVIDIA GTX 1060, 6GB, or an AMD RX 570, 4GB, graphic card. Gameplay and Frame Rate Uncharted 4 was already an astounding game in terms of graphical representation. With this collection however, both Uncharted 4, A Thief's End and Uncharted, Lost Legacy have received major graphical upgrades truly worthy of the next generation systems. At recommended settings, both games run smoothly at 1080p, which is the highest graphical setting available, and with well over 60 frames per second. Moreover, Uncharted 4 can even play at around a 100 frames per second. Players can also lock the frame rate at 30 frames per second for both games. While the graphical options are limited in these games, they do suffice the needs of most players. Are you ready to seek your fortune? Seek your legacy and leave your mark on the map in Uncharted, Legacy of Thieves Collection. Experience Naughty Dog's thrilling, cinematic storytelling and the iconic franchise's largest blockbuster action set pieces. Discover lost history with the charismatic yet complex thieves, Nathan Drake and Chloe Fraser, as they travel the world with a sense of wonder, pursuing extraordinary adventures and lost lore. Uncharted, Legacy of Thieves Collection includes critically acclaimed, globe-trotting single-player exploits from Uncharted 4, A Thief's End and Uncharted, The Lost Legacy, remastered in stunning detail for the PS5 console with improved visuals and frame rate.